I am Lauren Mayberry and this is Surf by Southwest. I hope generally for the music industry and entertainment and arts in a more broad sense, I hope that we can start to see things that are more representative of genuinely what's happening in society for younger people to be able to see a representation of themselves, whether that's women, an artist of colour, queer artists, things like that. I do think the conversation surrounding women in music and women in art specifically is different now than it was two years ago or when we started this band. But I do think that you need to keep pushing things. It's not that one movement is started and everything's fixed. I would say uncomfortable because I think in this moment there's a lot of people that are really comfortable, that have been really comfortable for a very long time and I think that we need to make a lot of people uncomfortable in order to actually push through to a different space. For me a lot of the things I've grappled with in my career ultimately come down to that if you don't do something for somebody else then you've done something bad. And I think even when I've said no to things that are, in my opinion, completely understandable, then there is this kind of like guilt complex that comes around that. And I think as time has gone on, I felt less bad about those things. Because when I look at it, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that to be a bitch. I'm doing that because it's right for me, it's right for our band, it's right to be able to be in charge of your career and be like, it's okay to say no to things and it's okay to say when enough is enough. Well, Shirley did give me advice one of the first times that we hung out. We were just talking about getting a few albums into a career and how you're lucky to have that, but then working on other things and panicking about, you know, I'm 31 and I front a pop band and historically that's outrageous, that shouldn't be happening. And she was just like, stop, do you have time? Yes, there's times that are slightly better and slightly worse to do things, but ultimately you shouldn't make decisions based on that kind of panic about a timeline that's been enforced on you by an industry. But she was like, you have time. Do the work and take your time. Well, as the band was taking off, for lack of a better phrase, um, I was working in production stuff, so production assistant, production runner. And I think things like that always appeal to me because it's helping create a story, even if you're not the mouthpiece that the story is coming out of. It's like helping further somebody's creativity, as long as you're helping tell stories and trying to connect with people and communicate, because I think that's what anybody that's making anything is trying to do. I feel like a festival like South by Southwest is so important because there's so many things happening in it. Like any moment in time you can turn a corner and you can find find something new. And I feel like I'm bad at that. When I know I like, when I'm at home, I look in the same, spa same place in the record store, I look on the same playlists on the internet. I don't really discover that much stuff. And I think this is a place where you can actually do that and I think that's really really positive. I am Lauren Mayberry. I'm Chunga. I'm Dan Rather. I'm Amber Ruffin and this is South by Southwest. <laughs> <laughs>